Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can create a copy of a custom list in SharePoint. So here's the situation. Let's say um, you have a, an existing custom list uh, created on one of the sites. In this case, this particular team site over here, I have a project dashboard. All right, and I want to replicate. I want to replicate this list. I want to have the same exact list uh, with all the columns, all the metadata on another site. I want it maybe to have it on the sales uh, team site now. All right, so how do we copy this list to another site? Uh, very easy, let me show you. So you navigate to the site where you want to, you know, uh, copy the list to, all right? In this case, it's my sales site. And I'm going to click gear icon, site contents, and new list, new custom list over here. And there are a few options to create a list. Obviously, we can create one from scratch. We can uh, create one from Excel, right? Import it from Excel if you have it. Uh, in this case, we're going to choose this middle option from an existing list, all right? And what's going to happen is going to give you a choice of all the lists that you have access to uh, that reside on, on, on different uh, SharePoint sites. Now, by default, uh, it shows you kind of the first site is the one we're currently on. I guess that's the only list I have, some contact list I have on my site. But you can choose, you know, the, the list from any other site and they show up here in alphabetical order. All right, it's not the sites you follow, well, the, you follow necessarily. All right, the sites just show up in alphabetical order. All right, so in my case, I want to copy it from this Office Move uh, team site. So let's find it, here we go. And it shows me the, I guess, the five uh, lists I have on that particular site. The one I want is called Project Dashboard over here. All right, uh, so you just select that. Uh, obviously, we need to provide the name. This is mandatory right here. So let's provide our own name for this list. Here we go. And hit Create. And that's all there is to it. So let's see what happens. Now, very, very important, very important. Obviously, the list is here. All the columns I have here, you know, essentially it's a copy of all the columns I have over here, but very important, nothing else came through, all right? Remember how I have some data here, all right? I have uh, some views, uh, I actually have some formatting, I actually behind the scenes, I know you cannot see it, but uh, I have, uh, I, you know, version history enabled, all right? Uh, none of this is present. None of this is present. I guess the view, it did come through. The view did come through, all right? But none, none, nothing else came through, all right? The data is missing. Um, if, you, uh, if you want to enable version history, you need to go back, you know, kind of behind the scenes and uh, enable that, all right? It's, again, it was enabled in the original. So uh, something very, very important to note, uh, essentially, uh, that uh, when you copy an existing list, you only copy pretty much the columns, you know, the metadata, right? Uh, the metadata, you know, all the columns, they uh, they did come through, as you can see here, uh, but nothing else did. So uh, just something to keep in mind uh, if you decide to copy a list. Other than that, as you have seen in this video, it's uh, pretty straightforward uh, to accomplish, and hopefully you learn something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.